<gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I am San Francisco, and this is la 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 la. Let's play Halo 2 Episode 5. I got a new bed, ladies and gentlemen. You can probably tell by the bedpost behind me. Um, I was having a little trouble, a little trouble trying to, um, sleeping at night. The problem was, the bed I was sleeping on was like a hundred years old. Literally, it's like a hundred year old bed. And people weren't as tall as they were back in 1915. You know what I mean? So it's like, well, I want my old bed back. And so I got it back, and like I can still like fit in it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we left off in Halo 2, ladies and gentlemen. We had a soccer ball, and we had a scarab gun. Now, ladies and gentlemen, soccer ball, like, there's no purpose to it. Like, there's no, no reasoning behind having this ball of soccer. There is, however, a reason for having the scarab gun, ladies and gentlemen. It never runs out of ammo. That is a good thing. You can kick, you can kick the ball around with the scarab gun. But, ladies and gentlemen, you need to be very careful with this gun. It will murder you like it murders everything. It's un, it's ridiculously unbelievable. And, ladies and gentlemen, there's only, that's the only time you get this gun in the game. I wish you could carry it with you through the entirety of the game. That would be absolutely wonderfully nice we're just go ahead and sweep this entire area of bad guys because we can thing makes quick work of race as you just seen the jackal I don't know if he's still alive is he still alive he's about to get an energy sword up his butt if he's still alive so ladies and gentlemen just be careful like when you turn you turn relatively quickly and if you shoot the ground which is beneath you you're gonna die but fortunately ladies and gentlemen I am a master. Actually, everyone's pretty much a master with the scarab gun, ladies and gentlemen. There is no survival rate for the other end of this barrel. Let's put it that way. And there's this thing that's going to come down. Nope, don't think so. It had a bunch of ghosts on it, and it's just going to fly away. We were too much for it. And now this is going to open, and these Marines are going to come talk to us about stuff. What's up? Cool. I don't know. I have no idea what he just said, but we are gonna go this way. All right. Now coming up is my favorite line in the entire game, right here. Oh, and look, there's the scarab. Well, show sure enough, they did. So they have gotten a tank down there, and a the scarab is looking right. Oh God. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, our goal in this level is to kill that thing, which is not going to be hard because we have the scarab gun. Oh, you like freaking taste your own thing? Well, we can't uh, do anything about that. Ladies and gentlemen, listen very carefully right here. Listen to what this dude says. <laughs> That that is my favorite line in the whole game. It's just, it's just funny. Yeah, I, I can really sense his anger coming across. You know what I mean? So ladies and gentlemen, all we do, like we're about to get to the part where we kill the scarab. All we have to do is get up here, and it's gonna get down below us. And what we're gonna do? We are just gonna unload on this thing, and then we're gonna jump on it. Cause as you can see, there's a hole back there, and that's where we gotta go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and just start shooting. There's gonna be guys that come out the side. Really, just like a couple of seconds burst fire is, you know, all it's going to take to clean these cats out. I mean, it's just, it's just, this gun is unbelievable. You have that thing's mouth in your hand as essential as we probably just go ahead and jump down and kill him right now, just to be honest with you. I don't know if I got really the guts to do it. Oh, God. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, no. I'll oh, say it just like that. Like, I hit the dead body. That was flying. Yes, I know we have to board it, Cortana. You do not have to tell me how to play this game. I predate you, honey. Yeah, that's right. I was born about 10 years before you were. So I got a little bit of age on you. All right, so. so just kind of keep it cleared out just like that. <clears throat> just don't shoot too long, you know, down that the hole. Like, don't shoot too long down here because it... The bodies. See, I did it again. I just did it. The bodies get too close, and it's 
He's, I'm, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait till the scarab runs its course. Stop being cocky, trying to hurry this game up. You need to enjoy this game, Sam. This this is something to be enjoyed, something to be treasured and appreciated, not something to be rushed. It's like love. Oh, then that must have been my problem the whole time. Let's go ahead. Keep the... I don't know what you'd call this part of the scarab. It's back. Anyway. Scar oh, and I finally figured out the name of that of that, um, of that one vehicle that I couldn't think of in the last episode, or the episode before. It's called a Shadow, ladies and gentlemen, and I just made the connection that night when I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, the Covenant, they got wraiths, they've got specters, they've got ghosts, they've got banshees, and they have, um, well, they have a scarab, but, you know, that's beside the point. But they have, and they have a phantom as, you know, the thing that carries them in and flies them. I, so I was thinking, okay, I know there's got to be something along the lines of some kind of a ghost. And then it just hit me. I'm like, oh, well, shadow. That's, that's what, it's a shadow. I know. And it just, it just hit me. I, made, I had to make those connections first, but that's exactly what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, in Halo 3, they make uh, killing the scarabs more practical in the sense that you have to go inside the scarab and blow something up. This one, all you have to do is kill the elites that are controlling the scarab and it explodes. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but... I didn't ask it to make a lot of sense. Ladies and gentlemen, there's some... Like, my game glitches right here sometimes. Um, I'll see if I can show it off. There's some pelicans that fly here. I want to see if, you know, if I can see them. Let's see. There, what was just shot there? Did anybody see? Oh, no, it was the, the light. Okay, it's, it's Pelican. No, not this one. There's another one that comes, like, flying around. And let me see if it does it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Let's see. What, yeah. Like, in my game, like, a Pelican sometimes comes flying around this corner and ends up, like, getting stuck right here. I, I don't know. It, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't do it. It may. It may. Yes, we do have a trap. Boy, howdy, duty, do we have a trap? I am going to. That is, that is the purpose right now of life is to board that scare. But right now, we are going to clean the platform in which the enemies. I don't know. I just, I don't think you can take out pelicans with the scare gun. I don't, I don't think you can. I know. I'm just, I'm making sure there's no other dudes. Oh, I can't hit it. No, see, I can't hit it. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and do this, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and one shot down there. And that's what you want to do. You want to stand as far back as you can and shoot the other side of the scare. Don't shoot the thing in the middle or else that will happen. But what you want to do is I almost missed the jump right then. If Master Chief, if this had been Halo 1, I would have missed that jump. So you just want to shoot the other side of the scare just like that. And see, you want to just kind of... Shoot over there, just like that. I don't know why he's not dying. There, just like that. Just like that, baby. And everybody done did died. Heck yeah. Now the Covenant has a broken scarab. Haha. <laughs> I win. So that was Metropolis, ladies and gentlemen. One of the greatest levels of all time. That's right, you mother. Run. But it's about to get real. Return to an amber cloud. Roger that. An amber cloud. Sir, the prophet is bugging out. Request permission to engage. Negative, Commander. I'll vector two heavies for star side intercept. Really? Whoa, what's going on here? It's gonna jump inside the city. Wow. There's no time, sir. Green light. Green light to engage. Punch it. Get us close. Oh man, look at this thing go. Without a destination solution, we are not losing that ship. Oh man, we gotta freaking follow these dudes. We gotta jump through their portal too. We just barely made that. Then ladies and gentlemen, they nuke the entire metropolis. I can see how easily the cover the covenant overtook us if these are the weapons they've got to play with. Like geez, like there's no telling how far that went. That probably reached my house, I don't know. From the future. But anyway, we got another mission coming up, ladies and gentlemen, and this is where 
We flip sides, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing the Arbiter now. And when, first time I played this game, I had no idea. You know? Oh, sorry, hit the mic. Like, I had no idea. I thought we were just... Oh god, don't put me in there with the jackals, please. They could use the meat. Hell, what about us? My belly aches. This flesh is seared just the way I like it. Why? Enough of that. Whipper like grunts fresh off the peak. These love men came. The hierarchs have something special in mind. Ho ho ho. Those hierarchs, ladies and gentlemen. They are the real bad guys driving the freaking Great journey. And it's cool. It's like a whole system here. With a, it's got a judicial system and leaders. Man, the Covenant are more advanced than we gave them credit for, I think. That's probably why they murdered us at Reach. A mistake. Oh, that's right. You better let me go. I'm naked. You decided to have you hung by your entrails and your corpse paraded through the city. But ultimately, the terms of your execution are up to you. Well, great. I am already dead. Indeed. You know where we are. The mausoleum of the Arbiter. Quite so. Here rests the vanguard of the great journey. Every Arbiter from first to last. That's heavy, dude. The Grunt Rebellion? I do not belong in their presence. Halo's destruction was your error, and you rightly bear the blame. The council was overzealous. We know you are no heretic. What are you trying to say? This is the true face of heresy. One who would subvert our faith and incite rebellion against the High Council. Our prophets are false. Open your eyes, my brother. They will use the faith of our forefathers to bring ruin to us all. This heretic and those who follow him must be silenced. Their slander offends all who watch the battle. What use? Start to see where this is going. No longer command the ship. Lead troops into battle. Not as you are. But become the arbiter. And you shall be set loose against this heresy with our blessing. Oh wow. Oh wow. Glory has come to me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the Arbiter's armor. Look at that mark of shame. The tasks you must undertake as the Arbiter are perilous, suicidal. You will die as each Arbiter has before you. The Council will have their course. Oh, wow. So... They want me to die, but they want me to die doing something they want. That's that's just about as twisted as killing me for something that wasn't my fault. It's not my fault. We had a Spartan aboard the Pillar of Autumn, Autumn that fled Reach. It wasn't his fault. What would you have your Arbiter do? Ho 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 ho! We is the Arbiter now, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna end this video soon. But I mean, we can finish watching this cutscene. Look at that broken halo. Semper Fi. Worthy of neither pity nor mercy. No mercy. Now, they used our Lord creation to broadcast their lies. <laughs> little cute moment. Oh, there I am. And continue our march to glorious salvation. He's missing the left side of his face, by the way. Whoa, dude, what, is, what in the world? Some huge construct on some random planet. This armor suits you, but it cannot hide that mark. Nothing ever will. You are the arbiter, the will of the prophets. 
Yes, I am. These are my elites. Their lives matter to me. Yours does not. That makes two of us. Ooh, oh, we got a bit of a standoff right here, ladies and gentlemen. There's already conflict of interest within. The storm? Is that a storm? Where are we? Are we on Jupiter right now? My God, that's a big storm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, and we start out with an energy sword. Hallelujah, baby! All right. So back when I started playing this, I didn't realize that I became the Arbiter. And I'm the blade. Yes. Silent and swift. Dude, dang straight. Well, I used to do this all the time, ladies and gentlemen. I would just fall, like right here. And when my body died, I could fly off. I don't know. I've always been a fan of, like, ragdoll effect things. I love the ragdoll cannon on uh, Ancon and things like that. I'm a huge ragdoll fan, so I used to just do that over and over. I thought it was funny. But ladies and gentlemen, the great thing about being the Arbiter... We can turn invisible. See that little circle dot by our our health or our. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I, I'm seeing a problem now. Well, okay, okay. Why? Well, never mind. I'm thinking about something that's not happening. We can turn invisible for a certain amount of time. Unfortunately, our elite friends can turn invisible forever. We can only stay invisible for a short amount of time. So, just. Don't lead by my example, but if I do something that you find is cool and you can is helpful to you, by all means do it. But I'm just gonna do it like I do. Well thank you so much. Why is your face normal? You're not the same guy. Alright, I do want this though. I do want your beam rifle. I do want your beam rifle. I I I oh, oh there it was. There it was. Don't oh, yep. Oh. I, I no. Nope. No, I got it. Got it. All right, now we're ready to go. All right, you want to hit the button and you want to run up here. This is just the way I do it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God, I get up here. Oh, kill that guy. I guess. I don't know. I don't really remember. I'm already lost. I'm already beyond what I normally do. And usually I stay up here. See, like, that was a heretic elite. That guy misled him or led him against the prophets, and now I'm sent to kill these cats. But what I do, ladies and gentlemen, is I usually just... Oh, well, I screwed up there. I definitely screwed up there. <laughs> I, got away from that I didn't make the jump, ladies and gentlemen. I did not make the jump. So you, usually what I do is I kill everyone, but I'm going to do this a bit differently back there. I'm going to see how long I can sneak around in this because I, I, I haven't been able to sneak for a long time. Oh, God, get on these things so you move faster. Whoop, whoop. Ah, he saw me. I heard him see me out here with the needles, which means my it's time for my friends to kill people. And I almost just fell off the edge right then. Just about fell off the edge. And there's going to be a bunch of dudes that come out here, I think, if I remember correctly. Actually, no, we're actually really far ahead of them. It's probably a good idea to help them fight, to be honest with you. Oh, another one. Sweet. It'd be a great idea because, I mean, these dudes, like, they, like, it's... Like, if you can keep your friends alive, not like that. Not like that. Oh, oh God. Oh, I did keep him alive, didn't I? Dang it, grunt. All right, we got him. I like to keep my friends alive as long as I can because they actually do help. Friends are actually helpful now. I feel like all my grunts are dead, though. Yeah, there's one dead elite. Oh, my God, I got one grunt up there. What's up? Like, come on, come on, come on. Come to me. All you got to do is just walk down here to me, and then everything will be okay. But yeah, they'll follow you around. But I just I almost fell off again. I almost fell off again. I'm not such a good shot with a beam rifle as I thought I was what you'll do is you want to get all the all the dudes here start the elevator do I gotta hold it or do I gotta wait for everyone to freaking come on elevator it's coming up yeah it's coming up heck yeah dude I don't know I don't know how to play this game I'm new to this game leave me alone it's my first time I ever played it hey grunt dude come with me we got stuff to do, man. Oh, I got in the video. Oh my God, four minutes. This I got later. Well, thanks for watching. Catch the next episode. We're gonna go ahead and finish this. Or right, we're gonna play. This is actually kind of a long level. Ends in kind of a boss battle. So thanks for watching. This episode. Catch us in the next episode. Peace.